Well, uh, Steve here, leading dental. Um, today we're going to do an in-service on the Belmont Clare Chair, which is the, the knee-grade chair here from Belmont. Um, so we're going to go through some of the, the main features and functions. So, look, we're going to start under here in the doctor's tray. That's where we're going to start every morning, is we're going to turn this on and off. So it's this little switch here, that is just turning off, you can hear the air gushing out, and then on there is forward. So you'll see how the display panel lights up there. Um, when, it, um, when it starts up. Now just be aware, make sure all of your hangers are in place when you do start the chair up or it will lock out the hangers. So make sure it's done its full boot up before you pull anything out. So, so we start off again the doctor's track. So this is our, our doctor's delivery with our hangers and our triplex under here. Now we've got one, two, three, four water pots under here. That lines up with one, two, three, four here. Now triplex syringe has some pots over here. It's got a blue and a yellow. So the yellow is for the air and the blue is for the water. So all of these blue for the four blue here, blue and yellow at the back for the, for the triple X syringe. Um, we'll come back and go through a lot of the functions on there later. But we've got the brake here, push to move up and down, and then release and it locks it in to, to lock in that little air brake system there. Um, we've got a little reservoir here now. This is, um, it, it will collect any oil or water or anything that comes to the exhaust ports of the hand pieces. Now, in a lot of cases that will indicate maybe a dodgy O-ring and then you might get water mixing and coming back into here from your hand pieces. So that's just cap to capturing all the excess oil. Um, up here on the doctor's tray, we've got manual movements. Chair up, chair down, backrest up, backrest down. So, and now while we're at, we might as well go to the toggles down here. So, we've got those same movements here, replicated on this toggle, which you'd usually control with your foot. So, chair up, chair down, backrest back, backrest up. These ones here are our headrest. So, we move up, headrest up, I push down, headrest down, sideways, brings headrest down, the other way to the right takes the headrest forward. That's given our full range of movement without really, actually having to touch the controls. And this one here is our preset. So zero, two, one, and LP. So we've, we've got all those settings in there and they're replicated here. Zero, which is our entry exit. So for entry exit, we've moved down into there. We can just lift and flip this armrest for easy access in. And then we just flip it back up again. So um, zero, one, and two. So they're user presetable. So once we hit that, we'll go into a user preset position. And then if we want to lock in a new setting, all we do is we hold down that button, either the button or the toggle at the back there, the joystick. We can hold it. So let's say we want to uh, move that down just slightly. It's got the position there. Let's say we want to move it slightly down. Make that a new program one, we just hold down the button and then we wait for the beep. And there's our beep. Now that's locked in as a new preset. LP. Now LP moves only the backrest up. Or actually in this case it brings on the X down as well because it is a knee brake. Um, it will, will sit your backrest up into wherever you designate that LP position to be. Then when you hit LP again, it goes back down into the last position that the chair was in. No matter how fine-tuned that position is, it will go straight back to that position again. So it's a great little feature, uh, primarily used for, for bowl rinse. Um, okay, so while we're looking at the doctor's control here, so if we take one of our hangers out, um, we've got lights here, optics on and off. There's this button up here, turns the optics on and off. We've got air and water. Now we can have air and water switched separately on some of the handpiece lines, which we'll go through later. Um, this does a, a variety of things, forward and reverse on our motor, again some different functions here, store and function. So we'll go through those in a little bit more detail soon. Um, we've got light on and off, so you should be able to see the light coming on and off there when I hit that button. We've got our cup fill, and we've got our bowl room, so that's fairly self-explanatory. Um, so that's our doctor's train. Um, we'll come back to all the functions soon. Uh, so we'll go up to the light now. So this is top of the line 10 LED light from Belmont. So it's sensor controlled. So it's just a wave 
through to turn it on and off. If we hold our hand down there, there's the composite mode. So if go to Rome QE composite, it's flashing here to tell us that we're in that composite mode. You can hold, either hold your hand there again to put it back, or I find just turn it on and off and it will go back into its full state again. So I find that's the easiest way to go from composite mode back into normal mode. It's just a, a swipe on and off. Turn that off there for now. Uh, so uh, while we're over here, we'll do the water bottle. So we've got city, we can choose city selection or we can choose bottle. If we're on bottle, obviously we're coming from the water out of the bottle source. If we're on city, we're using mains water. Um, if we're using bottled water, we need to pressurise the bottle. That gives us our pressured water. And then if we need to remove the bottle for filling, you need to depressurise the bottle. And you can have a look on the gauge there and it will, will tell you that the pressure has been released. Um, so we come over here, so we've got our keypads over here again, we've got our light on and off, um, we've got our presets and we've got our bowl rinse and our cup fill as well. So um, quite self-explanatory there. Then we move across here to our high and low speed suction. So you can pull the, the high speed suction straight off the hose there and then you can split that apart and um, access that and sort of um, all those parts are replaceable and you should maintain and lubricate them. Just um, slide a few uh, lubricant drops into the mechanism there and, and that'll keep all that slide mechanism um, working nice and freely for you. Um, so that's our high speed suction, then we move along just to our triplex, so that's fairly self explanatory Just pull the little shroud back, um, push the tip in and then just um, let it release and it will lock that tip into place there so it won't come out. So that's our triplex and then we've got our low speed suction there. So um, just once a week also, just pop that little mechanism out there. Now at the barrel, you just push on the end of the barrel, it comes out. You want to lubricate those little o-rings, make sure it's all clean in there and just pop it back in again. That's just going to keep all of your... Um, your suction lines maintained and, and moving nice and freely. Yeah. Now, this is this does pivot. Just be aware if you've got it in this position over in danger of being hit by the chair, it will lock out the function, so make sure it's in a safe position. If you want to move through the bowl, you can just twist and lift. We put it back in by just putting it in there. I recommend holding your hand over here and just gently guide it. These two come by the end of the room. So while we're under there, we'll have a look down here at the filter basket. So we've got our filter basket here. Again, it's nice and clean at the moment, so I can access it. Very important, make sure that it's always at 12 o'clock, so straight up and down. Um, that's going to give us the, the right flow for all of our hand piece lines. Um, down here, we've got our, some important things to, to be aware of. Um, this is our light. So sensor mode, off or manual on. So manual on, it's on all the time, obviously. Off in the middle, sensor full auto over here. Um, this is, you can heat the cup fill water if you want by just turning this little heater on. Uh, we've got um, quick connect air and water here if you've got any air fittings. So and this, this is a flow control for any water systems that you set up on there. Uh, so that's our, that's our doctor and assistant side there. Okay. So, let's move that light out of the way. So, we'll put that back down into the zero position, which again is our entry exit. We might go through some of the, the functions and controls on our touchpad here, so we'll go a little bit more in depth into that. So, um, okay, so first of all, we've got triplet. We've got sail on here, so you can um, screw a high speed coupling on there, or a low speed motor, air motor. This one's got the actual coupling on it, so for a high speed, again, we can turn our optics on and off on that one, so we just click our high speeds onto there. This is a low speed electric motor. Now, you've got a lot of versatility with this, so all of your speed controls are lit up from here and also from the foot pedal down here. So when you first pick it up, it'll go into variable mode. That's our top speed at the top there. We can control that by minus and plus. So we've got 10,000 top speed, 20 or 40. We can put, make that five stage as well, which I'll show you in the settings. Um, now our maximum speed is 40,000 RPM, but the motor's going to be running at 1,500 1, RPM. Now, if I hit the foot pedal, 
down here. If I slide side to side with the foot pedal, so that sliding motion, you'll see changes the RPM from 1,000 all the way up to the, whatever I set my top speed at, which in this case is 40,000. If I bring my top speed down to 20,000, I can now control between 1 and 20,000 by sliding the foot pedal left to right. So that's a great little function. Um, then what happens if we hit this little, this little button here, you'll see we're in preset 1, preset 2, and preset 3. So these are presetable positions, so you can have any speed you want. So let's say we go, let's go back to, and then we go into variable mode. So we say we want to use this for preview work. We might go to say 4000 RPM. We hit the little store button, and that's stored in. Preset 2, 20,000 RPM. That's, sorry, that's, uh, that's 20,000, yeah. So um, we'll do that for, say, uh, carriage removal. Hold that down, that's locked in. And we might use this one for our red bands. If we're using, say, a red band handpiece or one of maximum speed, say 40,000. So that user pre-sellable. So you can just pick that up and use that at any stage. Um, then we've got our scaler here. So uh, we've got the um, scaler there with our, with our torque wrench on there. So what we want to do is um, bring up your, first of all, you've got three modes. Scaling in no period, which is the plus minus. Most often you'll probably be using the scaling. And then we've got our speed control by sliding again this little slide. So if I slide all the way to the right, well then I'm right up there at sort of max of 10. All the other tips we're sort of running probably at about seven or eight. And if you're happy that that's the setting you want to maintain, hold down the F button. Sorry, wrong one. Hold down this button till the F split. Now that's locked in. Doesn't matter what I do with sliding down here now, that doesn't change. And that will stay locked in until I hit that F button or until I turn the chair off. And then we go back into a, a variable mode again. So that's a nice little feature there. Um, we've got our torque wrench on here. So we've got our, we just turn to the X and then push it on, we can capture. That, that wrench and the tip is all the so you can leave it all together in there if you, if you like, uh, and all the part of that. So that's our scaler. Now, uh, back to the foot pedal there as well. So you, we've got our slide function there. So our water on off. So if I hit the water on off there, it turns the water on. I have to have a handpiece picked up, obviously, first. It turns that water on and off here. These are our air and water that's missed there and missed water. So on off or I can hit the button here. On off. Now the button there, the other button, you hear that? You hear that? So it's just pushing air through. So when you can hand these lines that have this there, you can blow a little bit of uh, air through uh, without picking up the triple X syringe. You just want to blow a bit of air um, through your hand So you can do that by using the yellow button on there. That's our chip air button. Uh, now, we're going to go deep dive into the functions on here, all of our uh, functions with the F, F key here. Now, it gives a lot of you user free setable um, options. So, function one, timer. Now, it's indicating there with the little triangle. First, this triangle here to start. First of all, we do plus for seconds, minus for minutes, and then we hit the triangle to start. Away it goes. It's going to time down so you can time whatever you want, um, anything that needs to be timed, it's on the display there. We want to turn it off, whether we just go function, stop. So that's the first one. Function two, this is a really good one if you've got multiple doctors. You can have doctor zero, doctor three, doctor two, and doctor one. So you've got all of your function controls and your four different doctor presets. And that will remember all of your water settings, your speed settings, your presets will all go along and stay with that doctor. So just remember that, it's just a quick one, two, the doctor, and then you choose your number. Next function is flush out. This is the thing you should be using every day. Now I recommend them hitting the plus, which is going to give us a long flush out of five minutes. Now if I take those handpiece lines out now, it tells me I've taken out hanger two and three. I hit the fill pedal. And there we go, so it'll flush and it'll time down now. We'll time down for our five minutes and it'll just flush water through all of those lines. Now if I want to shift, hit that early and stop that early, I just hit that foot panel and away we go, we just stop that um, early. So put those back. So next function on there 
turn the beeps on and off. Foot hanger or foot mode, which means do you want the light to come on when you take it out of the hanger or when you hit the foot pedal. So if you don't want the light shining in your eyes straight away, you can you can have the light on the head because it's coming on the foot pedal. Next one is there, different alarm types, if you want to change the alarm type. How many steps do you want? So if we say five steps here, I'm going to pick up the electric motor. Now I've got five different maximum speeds to choose from instead of three. So it's function, we're almost through them. We've got alarm type, steps, spray mode, two or four. Do I want to have set screw? This, this for this case we'll do plus for the four. Now, if I pick up the low speed, I can have Air and water on, water on, air on, no water, or air and water off. So it gives me four different modes I can have there with my water and air spray. So, okay, we go through, we're almost at the end. Linking. So, I'm a big fan of linking these, plus for link. It means that if I do a cup fill, it will also be the bowl of rinse. Now if I'm filling the cup, it's probably because the patient's either had a rinse or about to have a rinse. So it's a good idea to have that, that uh, bowl uh, moist there in advance, which is going to help with um, anything going down the, the bowl in the spittoon there. So uh, we go through spray mode, linking, and then we're back to the default screen. So that pretty much covers all the functions there and there. It's, um, it's quite simple. Everything in there is very functional, very easy to access. Um, and uh, in a nutshell, that's probably it. We, we would go through the, the maintenance in a, in a separate little video. Um, but that's it, our entry exit again. We can just pop that little arm rest about. It's just a pull straight around and up. And uh, just a beautiful little chair, these knee brakes. Um, and, and of course, when you, because it is the knee brake, obviously the leg does extend there as well. So that works in, the leg does work in unison with the backrest. So when it comes up and reclines, when it gets to a certain stage, the leg will extend. Now, make sure you don't ever lock all of the presets out in the up position. As you can see there, that one's set up. If you lock them all up with the legs reclined, you can't manually drive it. So make sure you've always got at least one preset position um, that has the legs out. And what's happened there is I've changed functions, see, to a different doctor number. So let's try, let's try doctor number zero. And we'll try the preset there again. And there we go, doctor number zero. We've got a preset with the leg coming out. So just remember that you've got four different doctors with four different presets. So if you ever do get to a position where the legs don't come in, just try a different doctor number. Um, so thank you very much. If you do have any questions, if you need any assistance whatsoever, or anything that I haven't covered in the video, don't be afraid to call us at the Dental. Um, call me or call the office and we'll be able to help you out.